Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 3510. And in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace the power jack in here. This client brought this ones in and it says as soon as they try to put the power jack, I can see the client's the charger, it is not damaged but the cables are showing. So that's not a big deal, it's not naked but it's showing cable but that's fine. Uh, we can check the voltage right on the charger port, on the charger end. And we can see that the voltage, it's okay, it's coming. So let's go to the voltage, DC voltage. In here, we can see the negative is the outside and the positive inside. So we have 19.10 volt, which is fine. So and there's no issue on the tip of the charger. And when we plug in the charger, oh, there's a whole bunch of, and as soon as we plug it in, we don't see any light indicator on the side of the jack right there. We should see a blinking light or one white light showing up in there. And as soon as we move, it's not showing. The client said, like, he had to move it really hard, left and right, and suddenly start showing. So we're just going to replace it. We can see that guy. he's really taking a nice beating. So we're going to replace that. All right, first thing first, you're going to power off the laptop. Once you have it off, you're going to grab ourselves the opening tool and screwdriver set. I'll be using it. I picked the screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. All right, and for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right. So on the bottom, we're going to loosen up all the screws. The screws, they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely, and it does also help you to separate the cases from each other. So if, as soon as I start rotating this case, you're going to see a separation between the cover. It should push it away from each other. It's not doing a good job, but you can see if you rotate, and it's going to hear a click sound. That's what you want to hear. You're going to do it in the back mid, and let's see, maybe this one will push the cover to a little far. It's not doing it, but it should be able to push it. But if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just loosen up all the screws. So we're gonna loosen up this side too. I can see like it did pull the cover a little away from each other. You can see right in here, as soon as I opened the cover, it did bend a little further. So go ahead and loosen up all the screws. Just rotate until you hear like a, don't wanna stay there rotating for five hours. All right, once we're done with that, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the top cover and the bottom right in there and you just want to twist it. In the back end here too, you just want to separate them. You want to hit those big clicks down, that's what you want to hear. In this side, you want to go under. In here, you want to go right by the USB port here and just wiggle around and it should come up. On the front end, stick it there. And just rotate. You want you stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover. Once you do the front, the back, and then you just grab it, put your finger and you wiggle around, it will release the rest. And there's the bottom cover. And I did order a new part here. So this is a power jack. It becomes connected, has a 3M tape right over. And it becomes right. I'll leave the link for you guys, if you want to purchase. All right, so we see the power jack is right in here. To replace it, we're going to remove one chrome screws right in here and two uh, black screws right on the hinge. And then we want to lift up this hinge upward. You don't need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid, just pull this lever jack back and it will get disconnected. To put it back in, make sure, please, to put it in straight in. I see so many people damaged, burned the motherboard because of the spark creating in here because they put it sideways. All right. So we're going to lift up this tape here and we're going to pull this jack back. We'll put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull it back. And there we have a disconnector. Next, we want to remove one screw beside the power jack and lift it up. And we can see they look similar to each other. Mine has a little longer cable. But that's not a big deal. So what you want to do, you want to put the jack in place. 
put one screw right beside it to hold it and put the cable make sure it goes underneath here and align the connector and then pinch it straight inside here now you can remove this 3m tape and put it right over bring the jack over the hinge i mean put one screw over in here and two black screws on the hinge on the base you can test it right now to see if you're getting power or not. Just plug in the charger and we should see a power light blinking right beside it. So let's see. So I see it. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Now we see that power light uh, beside the, and it's charging the battery. There we go. So pretty much once you're done with this, what you want to do, disconnect it. And continue with by placing the top power on. And bring it down, you squeeze the side, you squeeze the back. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together. And this is how you can replace the power jack for your L Latitude 35 pen. Again, if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.